Welcome on in. It's time for Sports Saturday. Mark the first of three local on local PSAC football matchups with Edinburgh paying Gannon a visit at McConnell Family Stadium. Jimmy Keefe, one week removed from a career day against Clarion. Wayne Bradford at Edinburgh without Andrew Tomko at quarterback. Golden Knights led 10 to 8 at halftime, allowing a safety on the opening kickoff. In the third, Gannon getting going. Carlos Gomez takes off. This will turn into a 49 yard touchdown. He had 19 carries for 98 yards, make it 17 to 8. Gannon. And after the Scots get to the Gannon six, the drive. Stalls here, but Vicente Ariagata, 23 yard attempt. It's partially blocked by Jay Bullock and no good. That would play a huge factor later in the game. Cal transfer Jordan Castelli at quarterback for the Borough. Pair of 35 yard completions, back to back plays. The second one goes to Cathedral Prep grads and Oz Gregory sets up Edinburgh with again in four. Next play, Castelli hits Gregory for one of his nine catches. And this one's a touchdown from four yards out, makes it 17 15. Gannon heading into the fourth quarter. Early in the fourth, Castelli. Back to pass. This one's intercepted. Jaden Ashby added again with the pick to the Edinburgh 43. Huge turnover for the Golden Knights. But Gannon was limited to 108 yards in the second half on offense, including one drive of 80 yards. Edinburgh would take the ball at the Gannon 46 with 303 to play. What do they do with it? Castelli, the read option keeper for eight yards up the gut. Edinburgh working the clock to set up the final play. And how about it? Area Gata. He got it. 35 yard field goal with three seconds to play. He nails it. Edinburgh walks off with a pull off of the comeback here. 18 17 on the final play. And things did get chippy between these two teams. An emotional football game for both. You know, I just put my faith all in uh, glory to God. And I just do everything I can to help this team win. And for our kicker to make that, that field goal, uh, it's definitely a blessing. Oh my God, dude. I was like, my heart was like racing like so fast. Like, it was like, I never hit up like a game winner, not in high school, not in, not, 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 not even in practice. For these kids, especially our seniors who have given everything to the program and changed the culture and the tradition the last three years, it, it's really special for them. They they, they deserved it. They earned it. To the Lewis Fitness and Performance scoreboard, Edinburgh wins at 18-17. Gregory, nine catches, 78 yards, and a touchdown. The Scots host Merciers for homecoming next Saturday at 2. Gannon goes to Seton Hill. How about Conyot area grad Henry Litwin leading the PSAC in receiving yards and receiving touchdowns for 10th-ranked Slippery Rock, who visited Northeast grad Garrett Owens, and Merciers at Saxon Stadium. No score in the first until Roland Rivers and the Rock take the lead on a touchdown pass to Wilmington grad tight end Colton Richards. The big fella getting up and catches this one for the score, 7-0 Rock. Three minutes later, Rivers looking left side to the end zone. Hits Jermaine Wynn. That's an eight-yard touchdown. 14-0 for the visitor. Lakers with the football now. Doug Altavilla looking over the middle. This one is going to be intercepted by McDowellgrad Kyrie Spearman for Slippery Rock. And the Rock kicker, Jake Chapla, becomes the school's all-time leading scorer at 318 career points on this 37-yard field goal, breaking Stan Kennedy's mark from 2000. Lakers fall 45-14 as they get two touchdowns late in the first half. General McLean grad Jack Parker seeing some action for Rich Nagy's Allegheny Gators against Denison. 8 nothing lead for the visitors in the first, but the Gators would come up with a turnover here. Corey Lasky. Strips Drew Dawkins and Chase Bala there to recover the football and scoop it up. The Gators backed up in their own end. Allegheny didn't score in the first half tonight. However, Denison's Dawkins finding Dallas Griffith for the five-yard touchdown here in the flat. Gators fall 42-7. They drop to 0-4. 12th-ranked Penn State.